West Virginia's Governor Jim Justice coming up what he thinks is a brilliant idea to help support uh, jab hesitancy. We're going to get into all the details of that. Off the top, guys, let me mention I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me. That is our backup. The link is down below. The censorship is getting crazier here, guys. We lost our monetization. Could lose this channel very soon as well. Also, we need your help to support our ministry. The links to do that are down below. It is a great blessing to us if God puts that on your heart to help us out. If you sign up on Patreon, one of those, you get my bonus podcast. Plus, you can comment on the YouTube links to those videos over on Patreon because YouTube will not always alert you when all the new content is posted. Plus, they're censoring now and they're blocking and hiding a lot of the comments you leave on the YouTube videos here. So, Patreon, definitely the way to go. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, this is a Republican governor. Now, I know, I know, we're, 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 we're not supposed to just automatically figure that they're going to be a good, decent person. We, we're not, but you, you just would hope that you, you'd have enough of these rhinos that would have been gone by now. But no, apparently there's still a bunch that are left here in West Virginia, a state full of wonderful, good Christian people, the governor is now offering a $100 savings bond and then some to those aged 16 to 35 who say that they are hesitant to get the jab or that they don't want to get it at all. He said, now is the time. We need to get West Virginia back on track. This was the words of the governor. We need to combat jab hesitancy. And well, he figures the best way to do that, let's just throw money at people. We'll give you a $100 savings bond and then some there'll be some interest with it. No, no word on when that money will get to these people. But also he said that if they're already 16 to 35, if you already got the jab, well, you're going to get the $100 savings bond as well. He said this was all going to be part of the, the CARE uh, Act that was signed by Congress last month. That that money is going to go into these savings bonds. We'll be, get, be able to get it out to people there in West Virginia without a problem at all. But only if you go get the jab. Again, Republican governor is saying this. You would expect this from a Democrat governor. Well, they love giving away free money, don't they? But why is Jim Justice taking this approach? Why does he care so much? Don't sit there and tell me, oh no, this is essential to West Virginia getting back on track again, getting back to normal. Let me tell you something, Justice. Plenty of people in this country, not just in your state, but around this country, have been living normal for a long time now. They haven't gotten any jab, and they don't need your $100 savings bond. But we've seen this in companies, too. You know, I've talked about it. They're trying to give incentives to their employees to go out and get the jab. They're taking different approaches. You know, some of these companies were just trying to force people right out of the gate. I mean, some still are, and I've talked about those employees that have been fired because they haven't gotten the jab. But then others are trying to adjust their strategy, saying, well, we don't want to do that because we don't want to lose a bunch of people. How about we just give them a bunch of incentives to take the jab? And then if that doesn't work, well, then we'll move to more extreme measures, which, uh, yes, could in fact involve termination. So see, we're at this point now, ladies and gentlemen, where whether they're Democrat or Republican, as far as these governors go, for the most part, they're all going to be kind of on the same page with this. They're all going to be pushing this jab. I don't know of one governor that comes to my mind, and, and maybe you can let me know if there is one, that has spoke out against the jab. Now, I know there are governors out there that have said that, you know, it is a person's personal, you know, choice if they want to get one of these or not, and that they don't want those, you know, those uh, passport programs in their states for the jab so that you can go into a store or business that I know there's governors that have said that, but all of them from what I've heard have all said at some point, they're stressing the importance of getting it, even though some may say no, but that's still a person's right. But what Jim Justice is saying here, he's saying, oh no, you need to go out and get it. And we're going to give you money if you go do it. This is evil. I I'm sorry. It is. Maybe Jim Justice is a nice guy. Who cares? Who cares? He shouldn't be pushing this. He shouldn't be bribing people. Let the people of West Virginia be. He said there's some 40% of West Virginians that are hesitant to go get this. That was the number that he came up with. 
He wants to work on that other 40%. He said the young people are the key. The key to what? The key to what? You want to keep pushing this on them? We're in the last days, ladies and gentlemen. The prophetic times the Bible spoke about are now here. doesn't matter if you have an R or D in front of your name any longer. They are here. And as part of our ministry, we are trying to get as many people to Christ as we can because time is running out. This is your opportunity. If you've never received him as your Lord and Savior, you would like to do so. You start first by acknowledging that you are a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. Now you need to repent of that sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that is counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says you won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you'll ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Guys, I'll have more information for you on this down below in the description. Would you capitalize off this incentive to go get the jab? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing to us. And you can sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Get all my bonus podcasts. Plus, you will be able to comment there censorship-free. I highly recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.